Good morning everybody, Wayne Bolden, I'm here at the Speed King channel, it is TGIF, it is Friday, we're about one week, about eight days away from the uh, middle jewel of the Triple Crown for sure, and as always I'm going to ask if you turn your closed captions on for us, and remember, our uh, Preakness tip sheets are available, please get your pre-orders in now, um, they're 20 bucks, full card, I think it's 14 races on the card for sure. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com, as well as the black-eyed Susan, right, for the three-year-old girls. They're going to be in town over there at Pimico, quarter mile ago at Pimico, right? They're also, that's on Friday, by the way, the 17th of May, and of course, they're 20 bucks too. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com and or text the office 732-804-637. Well, I wanted to take a look at a couple stake races this weekend. We're going to take a peek over at the Peter Pan um, stake race on Saturday up there at Belmont at Aqueduct, of course. And uh, Belmont is un uh, undergoing renovation, so uh, the races are being run uh, over there at Aqueduct. And of course, uh, the third leg of the Triple Crown will be run up at Saratoga, um, second week of June. I think it is the 8th of June. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the Grade 3 Peter Pan on Saturday for straight three-year-olds, a mile and an eighth. The weather looks good. Doesn't look like any rain is going to manifest. Now, this field is 400,000, by the way. This field was, oh, we thought it was going to be a large field, but it's not. Um, it was eight entered, and now we're down to six uh, because uh, Chad Brown decided to run Tuscan Goal in the Preakness for sure, and the um, uh, Lonesome Boy is going to run down in the Long Branch at Monmouth Park opening day uh, this weekend uh, for sure. So we're down to a small field of six in the Peter Pan, but still a pretty talented group. I'm going to give you our, just our top three picks in here. The field doesn't look, uh, again, it's pretty evenly matched for sure um, going in. Well, our top pick is going to be the Wine Steward, is right? Steward, the Wine Steward by Vino Russo. This is a New York bread trained by Money Making Mike. That's right, Mike Maker, folks. And Louis Saez is in the arms. Well, yeah, three wins from five starts, the Wine Steward's. Um, uh, this year, 0 for 1 with 1 second, which was a really good second, by the way, uh, in the uh, Lexington uh, Stakes, uh, Grade 3 Stakes. Ran a beautiful, beautiful race uh, in the Lexington uh, behind, I believe it was um, Encino, the Godolphin Run Encino, trained by Brad Cox. It was an awesome, awesome race uh, for the wine steward that day. Uh, this is the second race as a three-year-old. Uh, going in with the best pace numbers, going in with the best speed figure. And again, the second race as a three-year-old. Uh, Mike Maker's really, really good, of course, with uh, pretty long-distance horses. Um, and I don't see why this horse shouldn't improve. And probably, well, is the favorite at 5-2 to two on the morning line. The wine steward, in my opinion, should handle this group. For sure, got a beautiful record, three wins from five starts, two seconds, speed figures are beautiful, pace numbers are beautiful, horse last ran April 13th, so it's just about four weeks uh, in between, so the horse should be fresh, fit, and ready to go, like most Mike Maker horses are, okay, so this is a very, very strong contender in this year's grade three Peter Pan. Our second pick, well, it's going to be... Uh, Deterministic, right? Now, Deterministic isn't a, a bad uh, three-year-old for sure. Uh, I thought that the horse ran a, a decent race. Uh, let me get my data up here. thought he ran a, a decent race um, two races back in the Gotham. Obviously, he won that race. Uh, then he came back in the Wood Memorial and ended up running eighth. I don't believe that that was... Uh, and victim of determination who's the number seven horse here i believe double check the numbers on these for me but to me the horse is coming in on an off race the horse is by liam's map uh but spiegel town on the back end the classy christopher 
Clement is doing the conditioning, and Joe Rosario is in the arms. Two wins from three starts, and the only time off the board was that showing on April 5th over at the Wood Memorial. That was not, I think Resilience won that race, um, was not vindictive of what we would expect from this three-year-old. So let's give the number seven deterministic a chance to back uh, to um, to bounce back uh, back to his Wood Memorial race um, uh, for sure. Well, not the Wood Memorial. We don't want him to bounce back uh, to the uh, yeah back to the Wood Memorial. Back to the Gotham States. Excuse me. So the number uh, seven horse deterministic will be our second pick here. And our third pick, well, we're going to be a little cute here. We're going to take uh, the number one protective, which is a maiden, right? Protective trained by Todd Pletcher. Irad is in the arms. Um, of course, this is a Rapoli horse by Medaglia Dora, Empire Maker. The horse is bred beautifully for sure. Uh, obviously, a maiden 0 for 3, uh, lifetime 0 for 2 uh, this year. Um, one second and one third. Now, the reason that I think the horse uh, is, could could possibly uh, at least hit the board in here is that the horse did run third um, in the Wood Memorial. That's the same race that the number seven, our second pick, deterministic, ran eighth. You know, and I think he's going to bounce back. But let's get protective, the number one horse, installed at 8-1. to one. Maybe the value in this race, even though uh, he's a maiden. Connections are strong, obviously, as Pletcher. You got Irad, the aggressive Irad in the arms. And um, the horse is improved each time. Now, I don't think you throw your maiden to the wolves, right? Two maiden races, and then they took the horse right into the Wood Memorial and ran third. So they see something about this horse that tell them that they should put him against winners. Wouldn't shock me if Todd ran by these horses uh, for sure. Uh, Todd Pletcher run or run by these horses. So protective at 8-1. to one. Is the value in this race for us? Um, and is our third pick. So there it is. I'm not going to give you any more than that. It was a field of 8. It's down to a field of 6. I think... The number three horse, the Wine Stewart, the Mike uh, Mike Maker runner, should handle these on the improved second race uh, as a three-year-old off the layoff and should be quite strong. So our top three picks in this year, Peter Pan. That's right, race number six on the card Saturday. Dry weather coming up. No rain forecast. Three, seven, one, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use those three probably in my pick threes, pick fours, and pick fives. And then I'm going to come back and just key the wine story on top. Let me know what you think. There it is. Stay classy, y'all, in all that you do. And, of course, remember our Black Eye Susan uh, tip sheets and Preakness one week or about eight days out. Okay? Get your, get your orders in. And thanks, everybody, who's gotten their orders in. Uh, Speed King 24 at yahoo.com. You have to email me so I'll know where to send the tip sheets and also give you our payment method. They're 20 bucks. Great way to support us. Thank you for all your support as well. Stay classy, y'all. I do think the wine steward should handle these for sure. The old classy money-making Mike might make a making plenty money.